Bad dream. Nein, nur ein Traum wie der andere, ja. Ein wirklich schlimmer Ignorieren. Ist sie einen von den Parasiten? Sollten wir es bagatellisieren und sagen, ja, ein Traum wie der andere auch oder ein wirklich schlimmer Traum, sollten wir uns mit ihr darüber auslassen oder sollten wir sie ignorieren? Ah, Freunde, ja, ich sag's euch. Ups, ich habe meine Freundesliste nicht offline gestellt. Entschuldigung. Ähm, wir ignorieren das mal. So, you don't want to talk about it? Don't worry, I understand. Sometimes it's easier not to talk. To keep it to yourself. I feel like that here sometimes. A lot actually. Ich glaube, es ist egal, was wir sagen, es bezieht alles auf sich. Nobody listens. They might pretend they do. But you can tell by the eyes. Eyes will always give you away. My nan used to say that. The thing is. Ich glaube, sie bezieht alles auf sich. Hätten wir jetzt die Wahrheit gesagt, weiß ich nicht, wer sie vielleicht sich hätte sich vielleicht gebraucht gefühlt. Hätten wir erzählt, wie schrecklich ich es jetzt gesagt habe. Oh, mir geht's auch schrecklich. Wie war noch gleich ihr Name? Was ist mit mir geschehen? Die Namen wissen wir ja noch. Liz. Well, how much do you remember? I. I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... Plötzlich war ich auf einem Gerstenfeld. Plötzlich. Ich bin hier aufgewacht und sah sie. Sollten wir ihr von diesem Zwischenwelt erzählen? Oder nicht? Wir überspringen es mal, wir erzählen es ihr nicht. I woke up here and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? Wenn das nicht mal der Tod selbst war, die Madenfrau. I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. <lacht> I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. <lacht> Das war doch bestimmt die Madenfrau, die uns gefunden hat und uns halt einfach nochmal ins Leben zurückbegleitet hat. Wie lange bin ich schon hier und wann werden sie mich nach Hause gehen lassen? When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Hoffnungsmacher. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Ein Widerspruch an sich. Äh, wie lange bin ich schon hier? Erzählen Sie mehr über diesen Doktor. Haben Sie diese meine Tochter gesehen? Erzählen Sie mehr, mir mehr über sich. Ich möchte erstmal mehr über Sie erfahren. Und dann über den Doktor. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hardworking girl. We all have to pay our bills Sie sind sehr ähnlich, glaube ich. I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. 
not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nerd. Was vertraut ihr uns da an? Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. Hä? Das ist ganz schön offen. Like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Wir wollen noch mehr über den Doktor erfahren. Tell me more about Und dann sollten wir schlafen X. vielleicht. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you, but Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. Du weißt wahrscheinlich, dass sie labil ist. Problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. <lacht> Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well... She left, and I never saw her again. Now why hmm. do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, die widerspricht sich stetig selbst. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad after Einerseits sagt sie, ja, das ist voller tolle Typen, ich kann nichts Schlechtes gegen ihn sagen. Auf oh. der anderen Seite, mh, ja, ich glaube, er hat äh, eine Frau verschwinden lassen, die schwanger von ihm geworden ist. Now that I think Fort. about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything it's very odd i don't exactly hide things from people but he got some really private stuff out of me <lacht> du bist ja auch offen wie really sonst was you know what I mean? sie geht ja auch zu einem patienten und erzählt ihr mal ihre lebensgeschichte and we haven't even started those sessions yet so be prepared for that sure but it's a bit too late for me to hide how i feel now anyway I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Wie lange bin ich denn schon hier? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a mm -hmm. minute, but they managed to bring you back. Yay. You went to the intensive care unit, where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. Uh -huh. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Okay. Ich bin müde, lassen Sie mich jetzt schlafen. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Wir uns auch. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest Geht's as noch? possible. <laughs> it's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. 
das bin ich diese Folge leider nicht mehr. Es sind schon 20 Minuten oder mehr. Und ich würde sagen, wir machen hier einen Aufnahmestopp und sehen uns in der nächsten Folge. Von daher bleibt dran bis dahin. Ich hoffe, es gefällt euch. Tschüss.